I've been going along and trying to identify separations in the boards on my wood bulkhead. This bulkhead is 40 years old and I'm trying to get a few more years out of it. Last winter I reinforced that stringer there with a 6x6. On top of that I poured a cement cap on it. Now I'm going below that with diving gear and identifying any shifting in the boards. Now if I find a spot, I take this oakum and uh, I um, hammer it into the, the crack and get it in there as full as I can. Scrape the barnacles off the outside and then I uh, seal up the outside of it with a two-part underwater epoxy we call splash zone barrier. And I let that sit overnight. I let that uh, oakum swell up and then uh, I come in, I drill through the wood right at the uh, mud line and uh, insert a foam straw in there and then I start filling it up with foam. And uh, I did one repair yesterday afternoon, came in this morning and uh, you got six cans of foam in the crack and I had absolutely no leakage coming out of it. If I do get uh, some blowback into the water, I had that berm to catch it and then I scoop it up with a dip net. Some of my uh, equipment there, everything is from Harbor Freight except that scuba regulator is from eBay. Drills Harbor Freight hose. Regulator is about eighteen dollars on eBay. There's a picture of uh, my compressors. That big tall compressor is for the air tool. It's a has oil in it. A little small compressor is a new compressor that Harbor Freight came out with. It's an oiless compressor. I've been using it for uh, my hookah diving. It's working absolutely great. I really don't know. Uh, I think it has 4.1 cubic feet a minute on the output, and I haven't tried it to see how deep it'll go. But right now, I'm not I'm not taxing it at all. Working in five feet of water, it'd probably be good for 15 or 20 feet, pretty easily, I imagine.